the first problem is as follows it says a white coherent light since it's white light the wavelength varies from 400 to 700 nanometer okay is sent in phase through the two slits of YDAC that is Young's double slit experiment and the distance between the slit slits is given as 0.5 millimeter okay and the distance between the slits and the screen is given as 50 centimeter now it says that there is a hole on the screen there is a hole on the screen 1 millimeter from the center line 1 millimeter from the center line Now, the question is from the light coming from the hole, identify the wavelengths. Which have part A is which are absent and the second part is which have strong intensity. Now absent means what? Absent means for those wavelengths there is destructive interference occurring and strong intensity means what? It means that at those for those wavelengths there is constructive interference. So we have a setup like this there is a screen this is the central line one millimeter from the central line there is a hole on the screen and there is light coming out from the screen. Now, because of interference occurring, different wavelengths will have different interference pattern at this point. Some will have constructive interference, some will have destructive interference. So, with the wavelengths which have destructive interference, here we won't be able to see the, the that wavelength. So, the question is to find which wavelengths are absent in the light coming out from here and which wavelengths have a strong intensity. So, let's proceed with the solution, assuming that you have tried the answer on your own okay so first of all for any question on wave optics you should remember the basic formula that is 2 pi lambda del x plus del phi source is the phase difference del phi this is my basic equation which we will be requiring in case of ydsc delta x you know is x d by d now this should be equal to k lambda in case of constructive interference this should be equal to k plus half lambda in case of destructive interference okay so now let's proceed with the solution for constructive interference you know that del x should be equal to k lambda so x d by d should be equal to k lambda so my x is equal to k lambda d by now I need to, I am solving the part B first, I now I need to find the wavelengths for which constructive inference occurs at 1 millimeter from the center line. So this is 1 millimeter, x is 1 millimeter, k is k, lambda, d is what, d is 50 centimeter or I can say that d is 500 millimeter and this is 0.5, okay. So let's put k as one if I put k as one I'll get my lambda as 500 nanometer now this wavelength lies into the in the range of 400 to 700 so this is one wavelength which will have constructive interference at one millimeter from the center line now if I put k equals to 2 then I'll get get lambda is equal to 250 millimeter sorry 250 nanometer 
this lambda doesn't lie in this range of white light so this is this is not the solution so i have one wavelength which will give constructive interference at one as one millimeter from the central line which is lambda is equal to 500 nanometer the part a is to find wavelength which have constructive interference now to find wavelengths which have constructive interference i should have 1 millimeter is equal to k plus half lambda d by d okay okay now let's put k is equal to 1 so this side so let's first put k equals to 0 so i'll get lambda as 2 into 1 millimeter into what is d d is 0.5 and what is this is d this is 500 nan uh, millimeter 2 into 1 into 0.5 okay so this is my answer so if you solve this you will get your first lambda as 2000 nanometer now this doesn't lie in the range of 400 to 700 so this is not an acceptable solution now let's put k is equal to 1 to do this you will get lambda as 200 uh, 2000 by 3 nanometer obviously this lies in the range of 400 to 700 so this is an acceptable solution now let's put k equals to 2 so i'll get lambda 2 as 400 nanometer now this also lies in this range so this is also an acceptable solution now if you put k equals to 3 you will get a value of lambda which is less than 400 nanometer so i did not proceed further so i have only two wavelengths which, which will be absent at one millimeter from the center line this, the two wavelengths are as follows okay so this was my first question now let's move on to my second question the second question is as follows it's about a fractional pi prism the question is a fractional pi prism has a refractive index of 1.5 and an angle of prism of 1 degree now it is used to to develop an interference pattern on the screen and the wavelength used is 5600 amp 5600 amp the distance between the screen and the prism is 80 centimeter and the distance between the prism and the source is 20 centimeter okay now the question is find the prism fringe width find the fringe width or find the width of a single fringe now this is a purely mathematical question you need to put the values into the equation to find the answer the fringe width you know is given by lambda d by t what is d d in this case is 20 plus 80 centimeter that is 100 centimeter okay and what is d what is d is the distance between the two sources which are formed is given by 2a lambda right or you can write this as 2a mu minus 1 into a what is a here a is 20 centimeter or 200 millimeter okay so if you put this values here you will get this as 5600 zero into let's say i'm finding the fringe width in millimeter then 5600 amstrom is equal to 5600 into 10 to the power minus 7 millimeter into d is 1000 now what is d it's 2 into 20 centimeter that is 200 millimeter into mu is 0.5 mu minus 1 is 0.5 and a is what a is 1 degree in radians it's pi by 180 so i'll write pi 
by 180. So this is my fringe width in millimeter. If you solve this, you'll get the fringe width as 0.16 millimeter. Okay, so this question is, was very simple. This was purely mathematical. Now we'll take another question. The third question. The third question is about a Lloyd's mirror. 